également un coureur qui s'est distingué, il vient d'Australie et il a gagné le Tour des Finistères, Simon Gerrans. A native of Victoria's high country, 26-year-old Simon Gerrans is only in his second year as a European-based professional. A member of the French AG2R, he's living a dream that's come earlier than expected. Quite, it's happened quite fast, I guess. This time last year I was racing for a little amateur team in the area and now I'm racing the Tour de France, so it's all happened pretty quick. So what do you think clinched it for a Tour de France appearance? Well, clenched it, honestly. Um, one of my teammates got sick last week. <laughs> one of my teammates had his uh, appendix out last week and it opened up a spot in the team. And I was sort of the next in line. A late bloomer to road cycling, Gerrans has served his apprenticeship in races of Australia's domestic circuit and credits modern-day pioneer Phil Anderson for his meteoric rise. I got involved with Phil because when he was... Uh, Racing in Europe, he owned a small farm up near where I grew up, and my dad used to lease his property and run our cattle on there. Yeah, so I got to know Phil as Phil, the guy that owned the farm up the road, before I actually knew Phil was a bike rider. So I knew him before he, before I had anything to do with cycling. And, uh, yeah, through that, sort of created a bit of interest in it, and he introduced me to the sport. So he's obviously told you stories about the tour, about European cycling, and uh, was that the inspiration for you? Uh, yeah, he's, well, he's been telling me stories about his career and about the racing and all that sort of thing. Um, but what actually got me into the sport is I had a knee injury through racing through uh, racing motorbikes, which I was doing up in the country. And he introduced me to cycling for some rehabilitation. And from then on, he just started coaching me and just moved from there. You can't compare to anything I've done in the past. It's just a whole different level, you know. It's like stepping up two grades, you know, to anything else, anything even in the pros that I've done. I've just got so much out of this race so far, I'm still picking up things every single day, so I just think I'll come out of it that much better so as a person, as a bike rider, a lot, you know. I think the whole enormity of it is just, is just mind-blowing. You know, how many people on the side of the road every day, all day, it's just the amount of people that's, that follow this race around is unbelievable. Fast journalist. <laughs> Uh, super fast every day, it's just flat out. Yeah, I think that's been sort of the hardest thing, just the intensity of the race. Uh, I sort of got a bit crook after about the first week and sort of that sort of got on top of me a bit through the Alps. So I suffered a bit, quite a bit through the Alps. Sort of got a bronchitis type thing, but uh, sort of got some antibiotics and sort of on top of it again now. So hopefully be right for the last bit of the race. At the village before the start, that sort of thing. It's always good to, to uh, catch up with the boys, have a have a chat, all that sort of thing. You can always generally find us all in the one area in the village. Oh no no no! Si you said when are you going to win something? <laughs> you said you've won everywhere else. How come you haven't won here? It's just a little bit harder here. Now we've got through the the Alps. We've got through the worst of the Pyrenees. So. Uh, Paris is a little speck in the distance, so we're just working towards that.